Today's video sponsor is Skinport.com. It's a marketplace that is cheaper than the Steam market up to 30%. It has only 5% selling fee if you have Skinport.com in your nickname. It has very comfortable user interface that brings the best user experience. The website works fast, smooth and secure. You can cash out even with international bank transfers. The website is super trusted and rated 4.9 out of 5 on Trustpilot. Currently they have more than 100k skins listed for sale and they are also giving away a falchion knife tiger to. So if you want to participate, make sure to check it out, the link is in the description and thanks a lot for watching the ad. The hello people is the biggest virgin of the internet and god bless every single one of you. In today's video I want to share with you what was happening for the last maybe one and a half weeks in our team. As a disclaimer I want you to understand that I promise to not give up on any team opportunities and I will do everything possible to fix the situation that has happened. In this video I'm not gonna be crying, I'm just gonna be telling you everything that happened chronologically. If you are new here and don't understand what's happening, I would recommend you to watch my previous team videos, the links you will find find in the description. As I mentioned in my previous team video, our biggest problem was the fact that we can't find constant 5th player and also we're not practicing enough together. When I made video about our first team problems, it was approximately 2 weeks ago, already at that point we haven't played a single scream together for like 10 days. After waiting for one more week, I decided to change something and at that point I only saw one motivated player in this team, so I told him that we have to come up with something. I offered him to leave this organization so we should try to create our own team. I also invited my Swedish friend that was playing for us as a standing so we were missing two more to start over again. Most of the guys that I had with me seemed interested and motivated to continue playing as a team so we started searching for two more. I asked all of my friends who play in teams if they know any players who are interested, motivated and dedicated to join a team and after one week of searching I managed to get those two finally. Many of you guys asked me, why do you not tell us the team name or why don't you introduce us to the players? The reasons are quite simple, I am so used to players leaving and changing their decisions that I don't even want to waste your time introducing them. So if you ever see me introduce the player to you guys, it means that I 100% trust him. When we have found 5 players, I decided to talk about our first goals as I do usual. From all of the previous team experience, I told them that first few months we should play as much together as possible to create decent team chemistry and communication. You always need to have that to get used to each other, that's why we decided to play a bit of face it. Pit, 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 he's speaking pit. Nice, nice, shall we? One pellet, one pellet. Nice I got him. One top mid. I'm hiding, a, I'm hiding. A. I got one more. Oh my god. High life. I'm not sure. Beast on each other. Oh, yeah, he's beat. Look at this, look at this. Oh my god, what an aimer. Look, look. Go, go, go. Third person view heights. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. No, oh, no. Oh, oh. I, I dinked him. I dinked him. I dinked him. Uh, two more mid. Free, 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 free in window. Free in window. Free in window. Now, guess for how long this roster stayed without players leaving? One week? Two weeks? In reality, two days. After two days, my Swedish friend told me that he got an offer from a high level team to go as a rifler and they have everything set for him. And the player that I brought with me from a previous team doesn't feel comfortable playing CS and he wants to be more of a coach and not a player, so he got an offer from a UK organization to be a coach for their team. Guys, two days, two freaking days, it was the shortest team attempt I've ever had in my entire life. I never thought things could get worse, but you know, two days. But as I promised to never ever give up, I decided to try over and over again until I succeed. Previously I told you that I don't have any interest in creating teams because of people lying and changing their decisions. But if you would offer me to either join a team and try creating one myself, I would rather try to create something myself, because with all of the experience that I had, I feel like I can succeed with this choice a little bit better. Once again, attempt number 7938 or something to create a team, but this time with help of others. I texted all of my FPLC friends, contacted every single person I know to tell every free agent who is searching for a team opportunity to contact me, but there is a problem. Real decent players don't take me seriously yet, and most of the players whose applications I was checking were pretty young, and trust me, I had too much experience with young players in my previous teams. They are usually first ones 
reasons to leave because most of the time they are not grown enough mentally to handle team CS. So you know, I made a rule about kids in the team. You know, no kids in the team. Currently, me and my friend that I might introduce to you later in my future team videos are trying to rebuild a team from complete nothing. We are searching for players who are trusted and loyal, but what I learned is that I never gonna announce and trust viewers who want to try out for my team. I did that too many times and got stabbed in the back every single time. I'm not that stupid to not learn from that many mistakes, so please don't waste your time DMing me how perfectly, in your opinion, you would fit for this team. I actually started to realize why players players are leaving teams after a few days. Most of them probably don't understand what they sign into. They don't understand how much time and effort they're gonna have to put, how much pain you will have to endure and how long it could take for you to make your first steps. From experience of pro players that I know personally and from personal experience, I can surely tell that you start improving as a team after maybe a month of constantly playing together. Sometimes it takes even more. Imagine, to start building a simple team chemistry you have to play for a month and none of my teams have lasted more than one month. I simply want to experience at least this first step. And right here and right now I promise to try over and over and never give up on team attempts until I won't be satisfied with the results. Team part of this video is over so if you were just here for that feel free to leave because things that I'm gonna say right now are not for the faint of heart. I could have ended the video right here but something truly tragic happened recently. One viewer from Norway texted me a few days ago. I'm gonna leave a full message on the screen, but long story short, there were two brothers. Both are mine and Anomaly's viewers. One of the brothers recently committed suicide and none of his friends and family noticed any signs of him being mentally unstable. His brother wrote to me this message that you can see on your screen and he asked me to tell you guys that if you have difficult thoughts of anything, contact your closest friends or your parents and get some help, you're not the only one. When I was reading this message, I shed a few tears. Please, accept my deepest condolences and now I need to tell you something guys. I'm almost 21 years old and in some episodes of my life I have been through hell, but I truly never had any suicidal thoughts because I'm Christian from the early age. The face always kept my mindset really strong. I'm not being the would you like to talk about our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ type of a guy, but I know that many people don't have friends or even families, so I truly believe that God loves loves every single living person on this earth, no matter what. Why am I telling you this? Because in dark times I'd rather see my friends Christian and not attempting suicide. I really appreciate you watching, God bless, I'm out.